I'm gonna keep this one short, partly because I'm still kind of in disbelief, but also it's just freaking hilarious. And before I give any more context, yes, the government entity is actually facing repercussions and is potentially being dissolved. Hi, I'm Lace, and today let's talk about how a Korean game rating commission got corrected by a bunch of Korean weeps. Blue Archive is a gacha game that was released about two years ago in 2021 to both Global and South Korea, where you take on the role of a sensei and you're leading a bunch of cute girls with guns to do not so cute things. Honestly, if you wanna know more about it, just Google it or download it, maybe give it a go, give it a shot. It's one of my top gacha games, would definitely recommend. And for the most part, most Blue Archive players are actually pretty content. The publishers running the game are very generous, very communicative, and as such, are very well liked. At launch though, there was a little bit of controversy where one of the in-game scenes were cropped from this, as you can see, down to here. And so of course, some players were yelling uh, censorship. I can't remember if it's still like this right now or if it was reverted, but it does come into play a little bit later because in October 2022, we get a letter from the producer and the producer essentially says, we've got some guidelines, we've got some advice to either change some of the game's arts and assets or raise the game's age rating. And so what they actually chose to do was to publish two versions of the game. And so therefore they are maintaining a mature 15 rating as well as a M17 plus version of the game. And so how this actually looks in South Korea is they actually have a 15 plus version as well as what they refer to as 19. I know it says 18 over here, but it is referred to as 19. And if you want to know more about it, you can read it in this article over here. And so what happened was that this age rating change actually dissatisfied Korean Blue Archive fans so much that they went on to protest in person. Because as you can see from this article, they actually managed to file 5,000 complaints against that exact same agency. And this apparently equated to about 10 years worth of complaints in one week. Keep in mind that these were 5,000 people who actually physically did this in person. So they're like formal complaints rather than just signing a change.org or whatever. Because what this actually led to was an investigation into that very commission. And the results of that commission was actually released yesterday, where they found that there was actually a lot of shady things going on in there. To sum it up, essentially they were, first of all, not doing their job. Second of all, they were embezzling money. And third of all, apparently, they were mining Bitcoin. <laughs> what the frick? Like, holy shit, I know it sounds crazy. I know it's like from a tweet. It's not like the most reputable thing, but here is essentially a summary of the audit. And so you can read the findings yourself if you want, but there are actually mentions of blockchain as part of their wrongdoings. And as a result, According to some Redditors, apparently this commission is actually going to be dissolved, which is absolutely crazy. And to be honest, that's it. That's <laughs> that's the end of the story. Like, what the frick? I never in my life thought that Blue Archive players would actually go as far as to correcting government organizations. But alas, here we are. And honestly, well done. And thank you for your service. But my guys, that's about it. Y'all already know the drill, like, subscribe, blah, 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 whatever. And as a, as a game ratings commission once said, all good things like our corruption must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.